morning. Good morning, Anne Law here, Christian OT, Sensory Health Coach. We are looking at oral motor skills today. This area here. Oral motor is our, well, how do I describe it? Oral motor is the use of all the muscles around our mouth. There are loads of muscles uh, that we have to make a smile, to help us to speak clearly, to help us to eat well, not to drool. Oral motor skills are really useful and really necessary. And often we don't have the correct kind of registration around our mouths. Uh, it's not connecting to the brain in the way that's most helpful. So we are going to be going sucking today. Lots of suck activities to wake up and to stretch those muscles around our mouths. So firstly, without any, any use at all, we're gonna make some funny faces. So, if you can see there, just try and bring the mouth in to begin with. Everything that we do is going to be about um, sucking and bringing those mouths, mouth in today. So once you've done the basic suck, and see if you can get a good pout and a good closure at the end, you want to do fish lips. and see if you can actually make your lips move up and down. After that, you wanna try and pull your whole face in. So you're just using every single muscle around our mouth, underneath our skin in a different way. Once you've got those three practiced and getting warmed up, and you can probably start to feel it in your muscles because you probably haven't used it like that before, we move on to sucking with an implement. Uh, straw sucking or you can get big tubes from the local hardware store you may have anything in your garage or workshop or around the house um, this is not about blowing today this is all about sucking different things you can do uh, with sucking if you get a cup uh, you can use tiny little balls of any description just to oh, collect and see if you can drop them in, in a cup and count them all out and see. It's also really good for regulation and calming down the system uh, as, as we blow and as we suck, but we're mainly about sucking, so it's a big breath in. And then a controlled drop at the end. So some sucking activities. Uh, you can experiment with different weights of things to see what you can actually suck and how big you can actually suck up. So I can manage a cotton ball. Whereas these ones are just too heavy, just too heavy for the size of straw that I have. If I were to try a bigger tubing, let's see, the longer the tubing, the bigger the suck. Play that. I couldn't do it with straw, but I can do it with tubing. and then drop it in. So see if you have some tubing, that's also really good fun to see what kind of things you can actually pick up with tubing instead and drop it into your cup. If you uh, want a change from doing a cup, you can make, uh, again, you can play the likes of snakes, snakes and ladders <clears throat> with your counters. You can do color matching. So you find if you have some colored blobs on the table, we can use these a few times, these coloured blobs. And you try and put the colour on. There's blue, going on blue, I'll just do yellow. Yellow on yellow. And you can go around if you have little coloured counters, see which ones you can actually pick up with a straw. Huge importance of sucking one way or the other. Again, you can make a little path. If you don't have anything to color match or any blobs on the floor, on the, on the table, you can literally just try and lift them up and put them somewhere else and see what else you can do. There are sucking eggs. It is possible to try and do some sucking eggs if you want to do some egg decorating. Um, and uh, you can post below, let me know any other sucking activities that you have come up with. But today is all about go suck. Let's increase 
the diaphragm as you need to suck in and help regulate, bring down, bring the system much, much calmer. You need to suck and then you need to blow out. And it's also really good for your oral motor or your muscles around your mouth. So that's Go Suck for today. Uh, lovely little activity. Um, and we'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.